In today's video, I'm going to provide the pros and the cons of the Bad Boy Maverick. There's things that I absolutely love about this mower, and there's things I don't really care for. I'm going to touch base on those. Stick with me for just a little bit. I'll highlight what I like about it and the things that I don't like about it. And I also want to talk about the options that I feel like you should probably pick over another option. If you can't get it with all the bells and whistles, there's certain options I would pick over other options. And those options may not be in line with what everybody else is recommending on YouTube. One of them, I will give you a hint, has to do with the engine. So let's fire it up, move it outside so I can get a better view and do a walk around and then uh, see what it does in the field. Anytime, and I'll talk about this later in the video, but almost any time you're gonna start this mower, you must engage your brake and always choke. It's just one of the things with this one, no matter if it's warmed up or not, I almost always have to choke it. Let's say 95% of the time. So I just make it a habit of choking it. So I guess the first thing we need to address is where do you buy a bad boy? If you're in the city, there may be dealerships close to you. If you're out in a rural area, kind of like we are, then you're probably gonna look for a Roll King. Um, they have them, you just can't put the different types of options on them. You've gotta buy what they have at the store. But if you can find a dealer, go to a dealer and talk to them because some of the options you can switch and customize the way you want it. So let's jump right into what options I believe everybody should have. It's not to say you can't have other options, it's just the options that I find most useful. Number one, let's address this. Most people will tell you to get the Kawasaki engine. I'm not saying don't get the Kawasaki engine. What I'm saying is if you have an option between a Kawasaki engine and that air ride seat, you pick that air ride seat every time because that Kohler engine that's on the back, I've owned Kohler engines on other riding lawnmowers and it's never failed me. Service it like you're supposed to service an engine and you'll have a good long life out of it. But that air ride seat is more about your body versus the machine. When you don't have that, you're gonna bounce and feel every bump. You might get some of this, um, like the, the rubbers you see there, that takes off some of the impact and how rigid it feels when you hit bumps and things but that air ride seat just does it's a game changer i would highly recommend that over any option that you can get if you're going to start putting options on these mowers if you go to a dealership get the air ride seat um, if you can afford the rogue or something above this go for it because the bigger the better <laughs> i almost bought the elite zt it's the model below this one and for the money, it was worth stepping up to this. So if you have that budget that you can go from a Maverick to a Rogue, you know, up, keep stepping up. And if you wanna do that, I would say go for it. Because in some of those step ups, you're automatically gonna get that air ride seat. Where the Maverick sits is right at that commercial entry and that residential. So we're right at the top of the line residential mower with this. And I'll try to post some links at what the prices of these are at Royal King. Because it's a national company, I feel like they would be more probably spot on on the prices versus if I try to find you dealerships and get you lowest price. And not always will a dealership provide you with the lowest price. So, but they're gonna provide you with options and service. So if you need to service this and you don't know how to work on one, go with a dealership. Find a dealership close to you and pick it. So let's start with the options. The number one option that you should pick is that air ride seat. The air ride seat is a game changer. It's gonna not feel as rigid when you hit bumps. Over longevity of the rider, so the driver of this machine, will benefit from having that seat. Most people will tell you that number one is to get the Kawasaki engine. And where I argue with that is, that's about the machine. I'm worried about the driver. 
the fatigue that it causes on your body over time. If you don't have an air ride seat, you feel more impact. And I can speak to this personally because I have some spinal problems and that air ride seat is a game changer. I'm just gonna say it, I can't recommend that enough. So that's your number one upgrade that you should get. If you're doing this at a dealership or if you can find it at Roll King or a different box retailer, make sure it has the air ride. Number two would be the Kawasaki engine, of course. I've got the Kohler engine, would not say, I would not say don't get the machine because you can't get the Kawasaki because the Kohler engine is superb. I mean, it's, it's a great, great engine. At 747 cc's, this thing has some serious power. And I'll show you that here in a little bit out in the field when I take off and do some mowing. Um, number three option is gonna be the size of the deck down here. You can get it in multiple, multiple widths depending on what you're mowing. But if you're gonna go with a mower this size, more than likely you're gonna get the 60 inch deck. And it, all of them come with that seven gauge steel that is just almost invincible. You can hit rocks with it. Uh, you don't wanna just jam them, but I'm saying if you do hit one, it's not gonna bend, bend it very easily. You, you would have to be really, take a thud, probably a thud hard enough to throw you off the mower. So that is very, very tough. Let me show you this. And as tough as it is, I mean, look at that. I'm 230 some pounds and it takes a lot to lift the other side up. So that thing is tough. So those are the options. There's multiple options that you can get on it. Um, but let's talk a little bit about what I like about this machine. The one that I have, we have the air ride seat, we have the Kohler engine, and the 60 inch mowing deck. As you can probably tell, the number one thing I like about this mower is the seat over everything. I love the way it rides. Um, like I said, I can't recommend it enough. Get the seat if you don't have it. I do like how the arms adjust. You can just unloosen this and I'll just go ahead and do this one and you can adjust it. That's for how you sit on the seat and how this will fit. I'm probably off a little bit. I'll show you what that what that actually does. So when you bring bring it in close like that, for me, I'm gonna like it right there. And this is for cruising when you got your arms down like this and you can just push forward. You can still set your arms on these armrests and control the machine. And something that's important as well is these arms must be all the way out before you can start the mower. Now, moving on, the power of this Kohler engine is awesome. And I'm gonna show you again, I'm gonna show you that out in the field when we take on some of those really tall, I mean, we've got some grass out there that's about two foot. I'm not gonna mow a lot of it because I'm gonna let, let that grow, but I wanna show you how powerful this machine can be if you're gonna use it for those purposes. Another option that I like really well is this right here. This is like, a really thick rubber. It's almost like a mining belt if you've ever seen one of those. You can hit the side of your house, the block, a rock, whatever. You're not gonna damage what you hit and you're not gonna damage this. So that's really cool because you're gonna hit it. It's gonna be at some point, you're gonna hit your chute. And so while we're here, another thing I really like about it is you could pull that chute up like that. Probably shouldn't be mowing like this but in some circumstances you need to. And this gives you the option just to pull it up and it stays up out of the way and it blows all your grass out this way. Now, it's not the safest way and do that at your own risk. <laughs> but sometimes you might be in a situation you need to do that. And while you're on the mower and you have that up and you're mowing, you don't need to get off, just give it a little kick and you go on about your business. And something else I like really well, how this engine is open and I can service it really easy because it's open and I can get to things. I like that. I can check my oil, I can change my filter, I can change the muffler or the manifolds. I can do basically anything that I want because it's open. Some of the, some of the machines have covers. Just adds a layer, uh, layer of protection over your engine 
that makes it harder when you go to service it. And once you start getting into a certain range of mowers, these wheels start getting a lot bigger. But on this, we're just now getting into the entry level commercial and top level residential. And look how big, I mean, these are huge actually. Some of these front wheels are tiny on mowers and they're soft. You can kind of press in. This is just helps the stability of the overall mower. So if you're on a slope, that's gonna help you, especially with these big wide tires that you're seeing back here. Here's my hand. If that gives you an idea of how wide that tire is. And I don't have like shock hands or anything, but that's a pretty damn big <laughs> wide tire. And that's what it kind of looks like from the rear. Bad boy. And something else that's pretty important to mention is how you raise the mowing deck. You can just press right here. There's a dial over here. You can go between 1.5 inches, that's almost all the way down, up to 4.5 inches for mowing heights. And they go in, looks like quarter inch increments. What I like best about this whole design is that you can just press this. Let's say if you're mowing and you come up on an object that's in your way, you can lift up over it, go over that object, and it goes straight back to mowing. So most of the time, I like mowing about three and a half to three and a quarter. So if I come out across an object that I think I'm gonna hit, I can just press this down and go right over it and then come back and go be right back to mowing. It doesn't slow me down. So I really like that. You would think that almost all zero turns have that option, but they don't. So let's take a walk around the Maverick. And it's not the cleanest mower that, <laughs> that you could get right now, but I do have 150 some hours on 156. I'll show you that just in a second where you see that at. So I have 154.5 hours. So that's a little bit of hours, but consider what that deck would look like on another machine that doesn't have that seven gauge steel. So not bad, considering. Now let's talk about three things that I just don't like about the mower whatsoever. I do not like these tires. Yeah, they're wide, they give you plenty of traction, but when you get a little bit of rain and you get into a spot where you're trying to do that zero turn action, sometimes one tire will slip and it's only one side working, so it's just setting, it's, it's rotating, but it's just slipping and you only get it out of one tire. So you can, it's not that you get stuck, it's just that it causes a weird feeling in your control arms and once you get out of that you're fine but for a little bit of time there i thought that we was having a hydraulic problem but as i looked down it was always spinning so it wasn't a hydraulic it just was not getting any traction that's the biggest con about the maverick that i can find on this property here is how well or how bad it doesn't actually grab traction even on flat so it's not that it's not stabilized on a side of a, a little slope or going up or down. It's just, it doesn't grab traction the way that I would like. So the number two con with this is gonna be the amount of gas that it uses. To mow our six and a half acres takes about four gallons of gas. So it holds about five, but it takes almost a full tank to do six and a half acres. I think you could probably squeeze eight acres out of a tank of gas. If that's going to be an issue for you, you may want to consider that. Um, I have heard that if you get a diesel mower, then it doesn't use as much gas, but you're going to pay a shit ton more for it. Number three is this row bar. I don't like it. And I feel like you have to have it, but I don't like them. Because when you're mowing around a tree that's got limbs down like this and you go around it, this grabs the tree and puts it right in my face every time. 
that's just because I'm too lazy to get off the machine and take out the pins, which is not hard. I'll do that for you. So this is what I don't want to do every time I come across a tree that has that. If I would just do that, it would solve that problem. And that's where it's a little bit of a problem sometimes because the pins don't like going back in in case you get it just perfect. So probably the question that everybody is asking is if I would recommend the Bad Boy Maverick. 100% go out, get you a Bad Boy Maverick. I'll just make that simple for you. Now let's get out in the field and show you how badass this machine really is. Like I said earlier on in the video, if you don't choke it, it won't start. All right, I heard it fire. It starts right up. So I'm down here in the field around our pond, which is back there. And I just decide to mow down these six foot weeds. And I take a pass through here and I come back through. And I said, I wish I would have videoed that. Cause I just want a pathway through here and then around here. What we do, we cut us pathway so we can walk our fields and you can kind of see what's going on here. So we cut a pathway up through there to get back to the house down through here when we walked the dogs and we didn't have a pathway here and I just ran that through it that's one pass coming back for the second pass with really dull blades I was able to mow that down pretty good and you just see this thing is an absolute beast if I had my video stand out here with me I would have videoed that I think actually I probably wouldn't have because I would have forgot it <laughs> but it was kind of cool uh, to see that I can actually do it. And this is what it looks like from this angle here. So I just mowed through the, you can see how tall they are. Like if I get down here to the ground level, that's taller than my mower. And I was surprised that it went through it. That's the tallest grass I've ever cut with it. I don't like doing that because it puts strain on the belts, but I wanted to have a little path right here. If I could somehow, set me up a stand i might take one more pass through here but what i don't like doing is i don't know what's actually in this and it was bush hog before so it leaves stumps like for little trees uh so i took a risk going through here and i didn't hit anything i might try to come right through there and video it we'll see but that's the power i'm talking about when i say that this thing has a lot of power
just so you know, you can mow four foot grass, six foot weeds with a bad boy Maverick. <laughs> I figured it's only fitting to end the video showing the bad boy cutout on the back of the steel of the mower. Highly recommend a bad boy brand, especially the Maverick, because I've got some good use out of this one. And as you just seen, hit mowing down those five foot weeds, man. You would never do that on a daily basis or a whole field. That's just a demonstration. You wouldn't want to do your mower like that, no matter what type of mower you got. I was just opening up a little path there, but it gives you an idea of what it's capable of doing. That is the Kohler engine. Anybody tells you that the Kohler engine is sucky, I don't think I would listen to what they got to say, to be honest with you. Um, I've owned several Kohler engines and I've never had a problem out of them. And they're a little different with this one. To service your equipment the way it's supposed to be serviced, you'll have long life. It'll last longer than what you probably want to own the actual mower for. Um, this one now has, let me go over here, 156.3 hours. So I've almost put an hour more mowing on it today. So I'm really happy with it. If you've seen something in the video you just did not like, make sure to leave it in a comment below. If you love the video, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel to see future videos on the bad boy, on my Massey Ferguson, on my solar uh, panels that I'm putting up on the roof, uh, on my building, just different things that's going on in, um, in and around my life. Uh, I'd like to share that with you guys. Maybe I'll be able to bring some type of content that you'll be happy with. We got green uh, emeralds going over here, green giants going on the side of the property. We've got a lot going on. It's a new, new establishment and I'm just wanting to share all of that with you all. And if you like one thing over the other, leave me a comment below, let me know, and I'll kind of focus in on that. But for now, go out, get you a bad boy Maverick. You will not be disappointed. You can get it with a Kohler, the Kawasaki, and if you have the option to get it with a Honda, go ahead and grab it. But most important, grab the air ride seat. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll catch you in the next video.